What? Don't ever date Turkish Bugün guys? Yabancı kızların Türk erkekler ile ilgili sahip oldukları yanlış algıları düzeltmeye çalışacağız. Tamam. Are Turkish guys as handsome as the ones in dramas? Hayır. No. Öyle çok az var. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Onlar da dizilerde oynuyor. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Bence beklentinizi çok yükseltmeyin o konuda. Bence yabancı kızlar Türkiye'ye geldikleri anda e, bu konuda hayal kırıklığına uğruyorlar. Olabilir. Çünkü yani yabancı arkadaşlarım var kendileri söylediler. Türkiye'ye gelmeden önce Türk erkeklerinin muhteşem yakışıklı, herkesin böyle Engin Altan Düz yatan, ne bileyim Kerem Bursin gibi hmm, evet. olduğunu... Are they gonna say Hasan Piker in this? They're gonna be like yo, everybody's always thinking Turks look like Hasan Piker. They're lying dude, they're lying. All Turkish people look hot. Düşünerek geliyorlar fakat uçaktan indikleri anda anlıyorlar işin Kesinlikle gerçeğini. Tabii Gökçen de onu anlıyorsun. Tabii Gökçen de. O yüzden beklentinizi çok yükseltmeyin. Görüntüden çok iç güzelliği önemli. Bence de diyelim. kesinlikle. Bence bu evet. çok önemli iç güzellik. Bizim ekmek falan banmayacaksınız yani gerek yok. Önemli olan iç güzellik. No but Hasan is literally John Wyman's twin. Let's see. Every time someone says some shit like this I gotta look him up. <laughs> Bro no I'm not. That dude is way better looking than me. You're fucking insane, dude. <laughs> yeah, totally, bro. Yeah, I look just like this guy. The fuck? <laughs> this dude is straight up better looking than me. I mean, I don't know what he looks like without the beard. Might be like, uh, you know, beard maxing a little bit. Or what is it called? No offense, but nah. What do you mean? That dude is hotter, but you look similar, lol. Yeah, no, this dude is definitely better looking than me. Y'all are bananas if you think that's not the case, but. Dollar General Yaman. Yeah, why are you guys showing me? Why are you guys showing me fucking uh, uh, better looking dudes than me? That especially look, you know, that are in the, in the similar in a similar vein how tall is he literally just a beard y'all do not look the same if i can't get w Hassan, i'm going for this man's walnuts thank you for the tank of the subs Can Yaman çok kötü aga. Ajanstan kız. Ne demek bilmiyorum. Ne demek lan? Ajanstan kız ne demek? Yeah, all Turks look like this. Have you seen the discourse this tweet caused the last couple of days? When you meet his friend group and he not the leader? Wait, what the fuck? Oh god, that's so rough. That's rough. Doom laser, thank you for the five you the subs. Tucker bit, not my tweet. Haha, uh schlong -huh, COVID. It's funny because millions of people have permanent lung damage for the rest of their life, specifically because of this dude, and because ha uh, funny because PPK disease. People have died from monkeypox just because they touched someone's hand. Suggestions for renaming monkeypox, hunter hives, midterm variant, Adam Shiftless, Schlong COVID.
Okay. Hayır. Ya bir şey, Türk dizilerinde hep böyle şey var. Biraz hayalperestlik, patron, çalışan ilişkisi falan. Böyle şeyler yok yani. Herkes kendi çevresindeki insanlarla takılıyor. E, Türk dizilerindeki, şimdi çoğunluğa göre baktığımda ilişkiler çok toksik. Yani çok fazla çetrefilli, çok fazla işte ayrılma, barışma, işte kötü kadın, ayırma falan. Yani bilmiyorum, benim çevremde ve kendi ilişkilerimde hiç böyle bir şey olmadı. Senden nefret ediyorum. Duygularımız karşılıklı hanımefendi. Seni çok özledim ben. Senden nefret ediyorum. I never understood why people thought that this dude was like universally regarded as the hottest dude in Turkey when I was growing up. Because I always thought he had no chin. Look. This dude, he's literally in Turkey. This is the hottest dude. They say he's the hottest dude. And like, I think Americans will, uh, Americans will agree with me that like, I've never been a fucking, I I've never been a Kıvanç Tatlıtu, uh, a fan. I've always thought he was like, I've always thought he's like super mid, but I think it's because like he looks American kind of, you know what I mean? He looks like, this is like the most average dude from Ohio, right? No, you guys don't understand. You guys do not understand. You guys do not understand. In Turkey, they consider him to be like the hottest guy for many, many years. Like they thought, um, and, and like, obviously if you, Look up like, uh, you know, modeling photos or whatever. Maybe he looks looks good, uh, probably in like modeling photos and shit. But ultimately, he's not that good looking. Fetishizing Midwestern people again? Yeah, he's barely hot. You're right. No, I think like, um, I do think that because he's like blonde and has blue eyes and stuff, like in Turkey, that's relatively rare in comparison to people that look like me. Like if I go to the Netherlands, I'm considered to be more uh, rare and more conventionally attractive than, uh, than like a blonde dude or whatever, or like uh, in Eastern Europe. But whereas uh, someone like him in Turkey is vice versa. And I think that that's the reason why it's like you simping over basic MasterChef characters. Yeah, no, I think it's like they, they consider him to be like exotic. And I've never understood that. Like the guy that you guys just showed me, John Yaman, right? Jim Yaman, John Yaman. That dude is way, way better looking than this dude. Straight up. That guy that we looked at before, the much hotter me, that dude is way better looking than this dude, in my opinion. Yani Türk dizilerinde ne kadar ağır bir drama yok. yok ama yine de bir Türk'le çıkarken drama bekleyin. Kıskançlık olabilir evet. bir drama, evet. ailelerin için işine girmesi olabilir, evet. işinin arkadaşlarının dedikoduları olabilir. Böyle evet. dramalar gayet olağan ama gerçek hayatta bence Ağlatıyor Türk erkeği düşman. sizi mutlu edecek insanlar, sizi çok üzmeyecek bu dramalarla insanlar öyle söyleyeyim. Aynen. Kıskanç, çok kontrolcü erkekler hakkında. Bunlardan ne? kaçın. Yani kıskançsa eğer e, onun dozu olmuyor genelde. Pekka evet, protector sahip. Thank you. Bunları gerektiğini düşünüyorum çünkü ilişki direkt toksik bir boyuta ulaşıyor yani. Onu girme, bunu gitme, şuraya gelme, bununla konuşma. Ama patronun seni kim oluyor da evime kadar getiriyor? Ben işe gitmek için senden izin mi isteyeceğim? Evet. Bundan sonra da üstüne başına dikkat et lütfen. Sen benim kıyafetime karışamazsın. Karışırım. Ben bu düğüne bu kıyafetle giderim abidin. Sen o düğüne bu kıyafetle gidemeyeceksin bayan Pers. Wait, what was the name of the show? I used to watch this growing up. Light Erkek, right? Isn't that what they said in the show? Is this the show? Çocuklar duymasın. Oh my god. This is an old ass fucking show that I grew up watching. Um, Light Erkek was like literally the terminology that they use for beta men and the irony is it, it was like the original form of like soy uh the the name of the show means don't let the kids hear and uh like the alpha male they would say the alpha male was 
The alpha male is called Tashfrunarki, which means like it's a it's a brick stone oven man, okay? As in like like your bread that was made in a in a brick uh or not a brick but like a stone oven. Whereas light cake is like your your uh diet bread. Light light ekmek. Yeah, they would say like, because that's, that's what you called, wheat bread was considered light bread in Turkey. This show ran until 2019, probably the longest running Turkish series. Are you fucking kidding me? It ran until 2019? <laughs> Yani senin beynin yokmuş gibi davranabiliyorlar mesela. Seni yönetmeye çalışıyorlar. Orada onu yapma. Sana ne ya? Hani ben orada onu yapmak istiyorum. Bana göre doğru. Ama onlara göre her şey yanlış yani. Bir insanın Instagram'a attığı fotoğraftan anlıyorsun neyin ne olduğunu. Sana bir arabasını çeken tipi. By the way, this entire fucking video, everyone grew up with the show. Yeah, I grew up with the show, but I guess everyone did technically. Um, Arka Sokaklar is still running? What the fuck? Half the cast must be dead by now. What the fuck? Yo, these show Turkish Turkish TV is so wild because they show they shoot like 200 episodes. And each episode is like 48 minutes long. Okay? It's wild. And it goes on for like 80 seasons. I'm not even kidding. They literally never stop. Each episode is like two hours long. And, and, and most of the fucking, uh, most of the seasons go on for like a hundred, hundred episodes. I don't even know how the fuck they shoot it. It doesn't make sense. They shoot every day nonstop. I don't know. They have no off season. And the thing is like, it goes worldwide. It goes hard worldwide. Any country that has like a soap opera, telenovela culture loves Turkish TV. And before the episode, they do recaps. Yeah. Every country, like the entire Mena world runs on Turkish uh, telenovelas. The entire Latin American population runs on Turkish telenovelas. It is fucking crazy. They have Ayatse in Turkey? No, man. What are you, crazy? Turkish TV is wildly popular in Chile. People name their children Turkish names when the soap operas and shit. Yeah. Turkish, uh, Turkish telenovelas are unironically super dominant. Like, it is a profoundly impactful cultural export. It's not even a joke. And these guys are, like, incredibly, incredibly, like, they're, they're incredibly famous. They'll get, like, uh... They'll get like they'll fly out to Dubai and shit and they get treated like K-pop stars. The only I would go so far as to say the only places where like Turkish uh, telenovelas don't pop off is probably like Western countries, you know what I mean? Like like America, UK, maybe not like Australia, you know what I mean? Like Western and Western adjacent countries. And also, like, obviously, China and shit. Maybe Africa as well. I don't know if African nations pop off with, like, Turkish uh, telenovelas. <sighs> you remember that girl Taylor from Big Brother earlier? She's in an alliance called Leftovers. Wait, really? They literally have a Leftovers alliance on Big Brother now? That's crazy. Unless they got that off-brand TV setup, can't remember the name. There's an actress for Turkish soaps in the two, in the UK show called Love Island. Wait, really? There was a Turkish porn star, uh, who popped off because she was in uh, Game of Thrones. The the prostitute in Game of Thrones was a Turkish porn star. Belkikili was this Belkikili? Yeah.
Oh yeah, she went on because she was willing to be nakeys. <gülüyor> Arabasıyla var olan. Evet. Hiç sevmem öyle tipleri. Uzak durun bunlardan. Yani ben senin arabana mı şey, şey yapacağım sanki? Allah Allah. Çok ayıp bence yani. Arabasını gösteriyor. Bana ne be senin arabandan. It's shameful to promote your car. <gülüyor> ayıp. Tinder kullanan erkek profili cinsellik düşünerek indiriyor ve kullanıyor. Karşısındaki insanın duygularını çok düşündüklerini düşünmüyorum. Hani ben duygusal ilişki arayan bir kadının Tinder'da aradığını bulacağını düşünmüyorum. You understand this? Bro, Turkish is my first language, brother. So yes, I can understand it. Ya bence aileden başlıyor sorun. Türkiye erkeklerinin bazıları anneleri tarafından prens, kral gibi yetiştiriyorlar. Evet. Hiçbir iş yaptırılmıyor. Çekildi. Ne kadar Doğru. Vallahi doğru. Bizim aramızdaki ilişki saf bir sevgi. Bundan ne gibi kötülük olabilir ki? Anne acıktım ben. O kurban olsun hemen gel. Hadi sen çocuşuyor. Oh this is like a, this is like a Turkish SNL right? I remember this fucking show. This is Turkish SNL. Okay guys stop making fun of, of you know uh, me being a mama's boy. Okay I'm fucking Turkish. They're literally explaining it. It's a, it's cultural. Okay. Um. Play olarak yapıyorlar değil mi böyle şey tiyatro oyunu gibi ama SNL Turkish SNL but it's like a theater play. Güldür güldür adı. Geç. Um, Danny Penguin thank you for the thank you the subs. Tabii ki de öyle büyüdükleri için sevgili oldukları insandan da aynı şeyleri, o hizmeti şekilde bekliyorlar. aynı hizmeti bekliyorlar. Ve bu bazen işte kadınlara, bazen hizmetçi gibi davranmalarına sebep oluyor. Evde sürekli yatan, sürekli maç izleyen bir kişi görüyorsanız... O Türk o, erkeği olabilir. Evet, o Türk erkeği olabilir. Ona dikkat evet. edin lütfen. Ya da şey, akşam yemeği nerede? Evet. Yemek ne yaptın? Yani evet. yapmak zorundasın ya sen yemeği hani. Falan filan bu tarz şeyler oluyor maalesef ya. O Türk erkeğinin annesi de bunu düşünüyor evet. üzücü bir şekilde. Babası da bunu düşünüyor üzücü bir şekilde Ama yani. Ama insan seviyorsa bunu aşabilir. Evet yani. iki, iki kişi bunu aşabilir kesinlikle aralarında aşk varsa. Evet abi böyle bir şey var maalesef. Yani bir sürü yabancı arkadaşım olduğu için bunu ilk elden görme fırsatım oldu. Maalesef bazı insanlar hem yabancı kızlar hem yabancı erkekleri İngilizce pratiği yapmak için kullanıyor gibiler. O yüzden sevgi olanlar bile var. Ee, yani bunları nasıl anlarsın? Dil dile değmen dil dil dile değmeden dil öğrenilmez değil mi arkadaşlar? Yapacak bir şey yok. Ya öyle ya böyle. Öğreneceksin. Aynı zamanda bir üstüne üstüne green card alırsan ah. Al işte. Et ete diyecek. Oha hayvan oğlu hayvan. Lafa bak amına koyayım. Et ete diyecek dedi ya. Ayı. Sana yok oğlum green card. I said there's a Turkish saying for what he's describing. I'm going to try to describe it. I'm going to try to translate it. Dil dile değme dil dile değmeden dil öğrenilmez. Which means, without, because there's a double entendre for tongue. Tongue also means language. Okay? So, the Turkish saying is, without a tongue touching another tongue, you can't learn another tongue. Okay? That's how you, that's the, that's the Turkish saying. We're whimsical like that. Turkish people are whimsical people. And I was saying, get those green cards, kings. And then someone in the chat literally said, <coughs> someone in the chat literally said, et et edeyecek, which means like, meat has to touch meat. Abi buna ha atıyorlar et et edeyecek anlamı. Yeah, he, the guy, yeah. <laughs> And I was, I was making fun of him for being a, a horny animal. What was the hand gesture? This? Kapak. This means... How do I fucking describe it, dude? Kapağı nasıl anlatayım abi Amerikalılara? It's like a stamp. Like... No, it means like you, you got it. I'm dying at you explaining this? Like, you're putting a cap on it. Yeah, it means like a cap. No, it's not a stamp of approval. Because you can say like götüne girdi kapak, right? Like you can say it like it doesn't mean a, it's not always a stamp of approval. It could be like 
like up yours like you got fucked right Come on, in your face, all my mom. Evet, in your face. You can do it like in your face as well. You're owned, in your face. It can mean those things as well. What's interesting is, um, what's interesting about Turkish uh, hand gestures is that like a lot of it revolves around the noises that you can make. So like, you know, Americans do this and Turks do this as well. Like we know we use this as well. It's pretty universal, right? Like, which is the sign for fuck you. Hold on. Um, but then, and then you have this, which is what I just showed you guys, right? Kapak. But then also on top of that in Turkey, we do this, right? Now in America, this means I got your nose. Like, oh, you do that to a baby. You're like, oh, I got your nose. This is actually very offensive in Turkey. All, oh, which means like, fuck you, okay? But it doesn't end there. So just like with the kapak, the sound you make is important. In Turkey, you, have, you can do it like this, okay? And you can't really hear it from, hold on, because I have a noise gate on. I'm going to unshackle the noise gate for a second here. But what you're supposed to do in Turkey, if you want to say, like, fuck you to someone, that was weak. In Turkey, if you want to say fuck you to someone, you do this. You lick your arm like this. To make the noise even harder. And the harder the noise, the harder the noise is, like, the more loud it is, the more, uh, the, the more powerful your fuck you is, okay? And yes, you do lick your fucking arm. You are supposed to lick your arm. Like a ninjutsu seal. <laughs> yeah. Abi çalışman lazım ama ses olmadı. Ulan amına koyayım Türkçe konuşmuyorum kaç senedir. Bana gelmiş çalışman lazım diyor. Kime yapacağım abi bunu Amerika'da ben? Ha? Hatırladığıma göre, hatırladığıma şey duyun yani. E, e, gurur duyun. Herife bak beğenmedi. Burada 30 bin Amerikalıya neler öğretiyorum? Why do Turkish people have so much in common with Latin Americans? Because uh, Flexicans are Turks. Did you practice that as a teen uh, in front of a mirror? Yes, a 100%. Like that. That's a better one. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Now you know. The more you know. That was rare Turkish insults from Hasan Abi. And for the people who say... Um, for the people who say like, where did you get Hasan Abi from? Um, Hasan Abi means older brother Hasan in Turkish. In Turkey, we have, in Turkey, um, we respect our elders as a part of our culture. So if someone is older than you, like Marat, my brother, my younger brother, he doesn't call me by my name. That's an America moment. He calls me Abi. He's never called me by my name our entire lives. It's like, uh. Uh, like the naming convention for someone who's older than you is you just say, uh, you know, you refer to them by their. It's not about the power. It's about how the relax your muscles are and aerodynamic. Yeah. Yeah, same with like your relatives. Like I've never called. That's why I call my mom Anne, right? And that's why so many Americans think my mom's name is Annie. But that's not my. That's not you know my mom's name is not Annie. I just call her Anne. Wait, so like, how do you say stepfather? Uve baba. 
Uvey, Uvey Baba. Baba means father. Uvey Baba means stepfather. What if you have two older brothers? You just refer to them as older brother. That's it. By their title, it's an honorific. Exactly. What would I call Murat? Murat. That's it. If they're younger, if they are uh, younger than you, then you call them by their name. If you're older than them, they call you by, their, uh, by your honorific. And it is very weird... I mean, or at least at first, it was very weird when I saw Americans um, calling their parents by their first names, but you get used to it after a while. And it's the same as, it's the same as um, kissing your homies. In Turkey, when you greet someone, you kiss them in both cheeks. Okay? You get in close and you kiss them in both cheeks. But in America, you don't do that. So that is a major adjustment every time. I used to go back to Turkey, and I would go in, or when someone would come in for a kiss, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And then you get used to it. And then when you come back to America, also go in for the kiss, and you're like, and then they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. So is there an honorific form of he, she, they if the person is an elder? Like he drove the car for an elder versus someone? No, bro. There's no gender pronouns in Turkish. That's, that shit is made up. I had to learn that when I learned English. Turkish is a gender neutral language. There are no gender pronouns. You say, oh, and you point to it. That's it. Everything is they, that. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. Oh. How do you distinguish between man and woman? There is no reason. Americans are so silly. How do you distinguish between a man and a woman? Oh, oradaki, oradaki adam. You can say that man over there if you want. You can add an additional word for it. Americans are like, what? No gender pronouns? What the fuck? Abi, on the other hand, means older brother, but older sister is abla. Turkish is so cool, but useless, kind of. Yazıklan. Yeah, unfortunately, it isn't very... Uh, Actually, that's not true. Turkish is actually super fucking handy in Europe because uh, Turks have taken over Europe completely. Everywhere you go, everywhere I go in Europe, I never get lost. Same in Amsterdam. Maybe not so much in the UK, but if you go to Amsterdam or if you go to Germany, you will never get fucking lost. So many people speak Turkish. How about Kayimpedar? That's super confusing. <laughs> Kayimpedar. That's... Uh, uh, that's your, your wife's father. Hasan Abi ile Türkçe yayma çabaları based. I encountered a few Turks. They can speak Arabic too. Does that seem familiar to you? No. Maybe now, but no, not when I was growing up. emin değilim ama samimiyetinden e, anlayacağınızı düşünüyorum. Kendinizi kullandırtmayın o konuda. Eğer öyle bir şey hissediyorsanız siz de onu kullanın Allah Allah. <gülüyor> siz de İngilizce, mesela atıyorum İngilizce biliyorsun. Sen de Türkçe öğretsin sana yani. Evet. Dikkat.
evet de olsunlar. Ya direkt evlilik de düşünebilirler. Yani Türk erkeği çünkü öyle şey değildir. Yani gelecek de düşünür. Çok uzun süre çıkma kültürü bence Türkiye'de yok. İlişkinin ciddi ilişkiye bir isim koyma konusunda da hızlıdırlar. Bu kötü bir işaret değil tabii ki de. Bence hatta bu iyi bir şey. Çok fazla sevebiliyorlar bence. <gülüyor> evet bir de kontrolsüz sevgi var. Aynen. Evet bu benim gene sevdiğim bir şey ama Türk erkeklerini seveyim. Evet, siz de sevin. <gülüyor> hey, Türkleri sevin. <gülüyor> Türk erkekleri hakkında düşündüğünüz bir şeyler varsa ya da bir tecrübeniz varsa aşağı yorum olarak yazın lütfen. Abi Türk kızlarına bak, helal olsun yani. Türk erkeklerini sevin diyorlar. Ben hiç tahmin etmiyordum böyle de olacağını günün sonunda. Evet. <gülüyor> That was surprising. I wouldn't not have expected Turkish uh, girls to say yes, love Turkish men. They're great. Truth or myth, Turkish people react to stereotypes. Turkish culture is very conservative, so dating is not allowed. That's not true. That's not true. Yanlış. Bence de yanlış. It's not true at all. I'm just counting the ladies that I dated. When you're on traffic, when two camel passes by each other and there's an eye contact, uh, that's how mostly, you know, people meet. Oh, this guy's, oh my God, this guy's triggering every Turk in the chat. There's no camels in Turkey. I mean, I guess there are, but like they're imported. Oh, Jesus Christ. And there's an app actually called... That's a meme. The camel thing is a meme for the for the Westerners who don't understand. It's a joke because Turkish people hate, hate uh, when like every Turkish person unironically thinks that like every American thinks that Turkish people live in the desert and they're really, really, really insecure about that. They hate being called Arab, kind of like Lebanese people. If you're, if you're not a Muslim, if you encounter a non-Muslim Lebanese person, if you call them an Arab, they will fucking kill you, okay? Non-Arab, non, uh, non-Muslim Lebanese people are like, no, we're Phoenician. No, we're Phoenician. Turkish people across the board are not Arabic at all, even though there are, um, like, obviously, even though there are Arabic, uh, there are Arab Lebanese people. Turkish people are not uh, uh, Arabic at all, and they fucking hate, hate uh, being compared to Arabs. Iranians hate it too. Iranians are like, we're Persian, we're Persian. Everybody hates being called Arab in the Middle East. I can't. <laughs> If Austin is your go-to Lebanese person, you guys have lost the plot. You think I don't know other Lebanese people? Austin is not even like, Austin's like fucking, what, what, how Lebanese is Austin? Oh, he's in here. He said very. Shut the fuck up. Your last name is literally show, dude. Like my friend uh, Mo, who was there with me when I was buying a car, so he's Christian Lebanese. And him and his dad especially, like they get fucking mad. If I were to say, when I want to piss him off, I say he's Arab. And he gets mad. They're like, no, we're Phoenician. Do they hate Arabs or just don't like being conflated with them? Uh, big column A, big column B. Bit of both, if we're being honest. There's also a, a new branch of like uh, conservative Turks that are very religious. They're like Kekona Turks, basically. And they despise being called Arab because they like extra hate uh, Arabic people because they associate that with like uh, the Erdogan regime. I'm Arab and it's 100% racist. Yeah, there's definitely, it's definitely racism. Date izin vermiyor olsaydı biz şu an evlenmiyorduk gibi bir şey yani. Ama görücü usulüyle de evlenebilirdik yani. Onlar çok eskilendi. Yani zamanla göre değişen bir şey. Ama hala bazı bölgelere de Türkiye'nin böyle şeyler oluyor. I can say like, you know, Turkey is quite diverse country. So yes, the western side is completely free to date. You can date it. This shirt is fucking fire anybody you want male female towards 
East, it's, it's a little bit more challenging. So families have a lot of impact on when it comes to dating and the marriages. People sometimes need to hide their dating. And are there arranged marriages in Turkey? Yes, yes. sir. İşte bilmem kimin Genelde oğlu varmış. Genelde aile, evet. Ha. Bilmem kimin oğlu doktormuş. Hadi seni ona yapalım. Arkadaş olun siz. Evet. In, in Turkish culture also family is important. They just don't see it like two people are getting married. It's also like the families they are getting yeah. married. That's the, that's the meta. My, even my dad says that. You know what I mean? You don't marry someone. You marry their family. Always. Two. So how did you, how did you meet? Çok sıkıcı bir hikayemiz var bence. Evet. Çok böyle... Çalıştığımız yerde tanıştık yani. <gülüyor> ya benim aklım, ikimizin de aklında hiç evlilik yoktu bu arada. Yo. <laughs> All my friends are online dating and they have the same concerns as a, no as a North American about online dating. So it's quite global, I would say. God damn, holy sound on, uh, uh, fucking holy sound editing. Stereotypes, Turks drink tea and coffee all day long. Yeah, that's true. It's true. It's pretty true. <laughs> pretty true. They do. Yes. It's yeah. true. true. Straight up. Kesinlikle all day. Doğru. Turkish tea on breakfast, after breakfast. Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee. And then lunch. I don't think they drink tea over after lunch. After lunch. After lunch. After dinner. If they are not having raka. They Turkish actually tea. drink tea with raka oh, yeah, that's too true. sometimes. <laughs> so it is. So, so there's like, so you know the concept of like a chai wala, like a, like a chai boy, like a tea guy. In a normal Turkish work environment, and I, I know I literally worked in uh, a, a, a Turkish news agency back in the day. Every floor has literally like a kitchen where there's a dude that makes tea. Like there's a guy specifically that makes tea and, and serves tea on the floor, usually. That's how fucking big tea is. You drink it all day, every fucking day, literally. And no, like Chai Boy is not what I'm talking about. It's like this is a whole ass adult. Samanyolu? No, man. What the fuck? Ew. Siktir lan. Gülen, gülenci miyim sence? E, geri zekalı. Samanyolu dedi ya. İnanamıyorum. Habertürk amına koyayım. Bloomberg. No, Habertürk değil. Bloomberg'de çalıştım. I work from Bloomberg. Yes. Günde 5-10 litre çay içen esnaflar var. My mom is just like, before even like she goes to sleep sometimes she drinks coffee. Oh yeah. Even like just watch some... Turkish TV show programs, like there's always tea there, like, I mean, just constantly. At work, yeah, everybody has a tea lady or tea man, right? Si. Çayci. Oh, yeah. Çayci. Some people has a really good talent to read the Turkish coffee cup after you finish it, and then uh, they can Yeah, see. fortune telling. After you're, done, after you're done drinking Turkish coffee, you flip it over uh, on under the thing that, you know, under the, the, the plate that holds it, and then you flip it. And then someone reads like an older your aunt will will read the the uh, your fortune from your from your uh, coffee like the patterns that it leaves behind. Your future. Önce kahve içersin, sonra e, dibine çay ve sıkılır, kapatırsın, üstüne yüzüğünü bırakırsın ve şekiller oluşsun içinde. Sonra açılıp o şekiller bir şeye benzetilir ve yeah it is it is interesting it's a lot of bullshitting I would say of course no bu da bu da tam bu şey var ya bu tam gavur olmak istiyor bak bak tipe bak tam yani oh jo a lot of biasing siktir lan her biasiz yalaka yalaka <gülüyor> it's kind of a way to talk about things that are may not be social bunu kodum bunu asimilesi <gülüyor> He's saying he's he's like trying to be a Westerner so bad he's like poo pooing Turkish culture. No, Turkish men are womanized womanizers players? No, I don't think so. It really depends. I don't I don't know if womanizer is the right word. I think I think they're tenacious, passionate. Okay, tenacious, passionate, obsessive is is adequate. They're obsessive sometimes if they want. If something they they will do anything to to, to get that. Yok ya değil o kadar diye düşünüyorum. Kendisi de çok eski çapkınlardan bir böyle. Çapkın. O yüzden diyor ben evet. Tamamen yalan söylüyor şu anda. Tourist from like Russia, Germany or whatever. They come there for five days, one week. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's fair. Yes. Turkish people love going to Antalya, Bodrum, Alanya, like summer areas. 
that's where all the all the British, German, and Russian uh, uh, women uh, tourists come. Hayır, Akdeniz'de neler olduğunu anlatma. <laughs> I'm I'm re- I'm leaking the memes. And you know that's where everybody goes, and that's where everybody hooks up. They are like just approaching. Hello, how are you? Are you good? Are you disco? Are you coke? Like yeah. it's like kind of like very limited English, but they still are want to move on to a yeah. tourist woman. So they're oh, like, yeah. are you disco? Means like you want to go to disco. Yeah, <laughs> like, sometimes are you disco? they really force it. Like I mean, no, it's not no. A lot of men who thinks world world is revolved around them, and you can find a bunch of them in Turkey as well. Powered by religion, culture, powered by uh, mamas calling men. They're the kings and the the prince of the of their family. <laughs> Turks are obsessed with soap operas. I, I can't speak on this one. I, I I don't think so, but I think I guess hella people watch them. No. Çok pembe dizimiz vardır. Akşamlar çok izlenir. Biz izlemiyoruz ikimiz ama biz genel televizyon izliyorum. And now that I have a Turkish girlfriend, we started watching soap operas. Oh yeah. Before I was not. Yeah. And now it's like now it's tea time. Every Wednesday we're watching Sadakatsiz. It's the stupidest show ever. O bir batak zaten. Yani o batağa girdin mi? To be fair though, I think my mom and dad watched that shit too. And it's like weird because I don't think they used to when I was growing up in Turkey, but they do now. It's like wild. So I don't know. They are wild like, you know, Muhteşem Yüzyıl, it's 139 episodes and each episode is an hour and a half long. Yeah, I do know. They they're they're non-stop, bro. Turkish telenovelas are fucking crazy. I don't know how the fuck they film any of that shit. Bir daha çıkamıyorsun. Hala izliyor çünkü Hala bak gece sen y- yat- yatakta döner dönüyor oradan şey yapıyor. I watch Yargı every Sunday. How long do the barbers go for? 10 hours. No. With ads, It's, with commercial three no, hours. No, with commercial three hours, without commercial two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's so long. We're good at it. It makes it have, like, makes you cry. Yeah. Like, I'm, like not, I'm not a cry baby, but I'm like, why is this happening? And I don't want to cry, but yeah, it's good. So it's like a lot of emotions. <laughs> yeah, there's hella dubs. There's a lot of dubs of Turkish uh, shows. Avrupa Ecosis is my age, Kandris. Uh, galiba, evet. Veganım, yani daha ne diyebilirim ki? Wait, what? Turkish cuisine consists, consists mainly of kebab. Is I mean, <gülüyor> Americans think everything is a kebab. Bunlar döneri de kebab diyor abi, o yüzden. Her şeyi kebab zannediyor Amerikalılar. Et varsa kebab diyorlar. Ondan he, aslında evet, hepsi kebab yani amına koyayım. Turkish cuisine does not consist mainly of kebab, but Americans think everything is a kebab. Westerners think everything in Turkey is a kebab. Um, so they call like doner a kebab when doner is not a kebab. A kebab is a very specific thing. Like Adana, Urfa, it's uh it's the it's the minced meat that you you put on a on a shish almost. Or like well I guess you have a shish kebab too. But because they think everything is a fucking kebab, they, you know. Veganum, yani daha ne diyebilirim ki? Ama o kebab çok yer. You can say everyone eats sushi in Japan all the time. Some parts, people do eat kebab. Ya ukala bu ya. Doğru söylüyor da ukala yani. Dinner. You go there, you come back with a heartburn. And some parts of Turkey, um, close to West and close to Greece, they, they, they have a lot of Greek influence. It's very fish, seafood heavy and vegetable heavy diet. And about kebab, it's just like yeah, one one type of uh, food. Like like there's like a doner kebab, adana kebab, urfa. Like just became popular like with uh, the Turkish immigrants that went to like Germany. And it's easy easy take out like a food. And I think just it just started there. Can you guys tell me what your favorite Turkish dish is? Seçkin genellikle benimle onu bahsettiğim için. I fucking hate bamya okra. So awful. Bamya did ya. It's a vegetarian al. Vegan. It's tubby. No, they don't even fry it, bro. They don't even fucking fry it in Turkey. It's so slimy and hairy. 
It's just the weirdest fucking thing to eat, bro. I don't understand it. Americans eat it too. It's so nasty. I just, oh God. How much cheek after they eat is yard? We have like stuffed grape leaves. Oh my god, it's my favorite. Put some yogurt on it. It's like paradise. But I do miss a good kebab, I would say. Um, no, I don't. I'm not a meat person. <laughs> Imam Bayoldu. Ooh. Isn't it meat though? Yes, but not kebab. <laughs> Turks tend to get dramatic and jealous? Yes, 100%. 1 million percent. Anyone that says no to this is a liar. Yes, true. So think about it. You're watching three hours of soap opera that talks about drama, jealousy. So, so For dramatic. For sure they're dramatic. For sure they're Turkish men especially. Oh my God. I mean, Turkish women too. The, the, the common stereotype of Turkish women is that they're like little princesses. Their daddies, Turkish women are daddy's little princess and Turkish men are mommy's little uh, uh, prince. Everyone is incredibly spoiled, straight up uh, in our culture, and and men are incredibly fucking dramatic. I mean, I'm incredibly dramatic as well. So, but yeah, well, this is part of society. It's part of culture. Ben kıskanç değilim. Seçkin de sen de değilsin. İnanamıyorum. Hiç inanmıyorum. Genel olarak, de inanmıyorum. Yalan söylüyorlar. I think they're lying. I think it comes from like our genes. Like you have to be jealous. Kind of, kind of like, that jealousy is kind of like I care about you. I love you. Look. See, that's that's unhealthy. He's already trying to rationalize it. No, it's unhealthy. True. Not what he said, but that uh, Turkish men are jealous and dramatic and yeah. Dramatic and jealous in general. You it's have to be around me, so right? you perceive like that. E exactly. If you're, so. if you're not jealous, like, oh, you don't, you don't love me. Yeah, it's no confirming. Way, yeah. It's confirming that there's passion. There mm -hmm. is a kind of love. On the contrary, if you look at North America, no one wants to be with someone who's jealous. It's confirms there's insecurity. I think it's about people in warmer countries. They're they're more jealous. I feel like that. <laughs> Arab being compared to Arabs what's the most annoying stereotype you get as a Turk that's what they're gonna say it's a Middle Eastern country yeah <laughs> see so Turkey okay then camels deserts yeah. the camel thing is like literally triggering so much so that Turks think the entire rest of the world thinks that they ride camels. Every Turk thinks everyone outside of Turkey, everyone in the Western world thinks Turks ride camels to school. How'd you learn about Turkey so much? Did you do your research? Yeah. Um, I just researched. I'm a Turkaboo. Like thinking that we're living in deserts. Yeah. That's not true we are surrounded by seas like you know the black sea mediterranean sea and all that so oh you're dark because you're from turkey it's so sunny all the time out there it was like Ooh. sometimes it's cold i mean we have four seasons like true go to asia take a ferry to go to europe side grab a tea and before your tea gets cold you can actually you know go from asia to europe it's a fun experience in Istanbul. The land is so diverse. There are a lot of people from a lot of uh, neighbors uh, from Turkey that brings their own culture, own food, own language. It's pretty much representative of the history that you can find in Turkey. You know, people do go like Antalya and this Turkey for them. Like, it's a huge you know, country. Like, if you go like, I'm saying like, oh, we also have snow. Do you have snow there? Oh, really? Like, yeah. Maybe just... Bursalı, Bak. Bursalı diyor bizde de bizde de var diyor şey dağ var diyor kar var diyor tabi Bursalısın. He's from a part of uh, Turkey Bursa, which I don't know why uh, is also the uh, people say like uh, gay people come from. Um, I don't know why like old it's like an old school Turkish meme, maybe because of like Zeki Muran, but um. Hiç duymadınız mı abi bilmiyor musun? Ben babam derdi hep. Severim Bursa'yı Zeki'yi. It's like a meme. Um, but also... Um, 
I don't even know if it's like a meme that people Bursa çocuğum her yerde sikişirim. I don't even know if that like uh, I don't know if that meme even exists um anymore. But that's like an old school meme in Turkey. Girişimiz oldu, bir de çıkışımız oldu, kazandık, para kazandık. And then um the other the other thing the reason why I said that though is because Bursa is where uh, there's a massive mountain um a lot of skiing and shit. Yeah, even if it's not I don't know whether it does or not. Oyunumu sıkıdım sıkıdım. Oyunumu sıkıdım sıkıdım. İzmir'in dağlarında çiçekler açar. İzmir'in dağlarında çiçekler açar. That's so embarrassing. Altın güneş orada sırmalar saçar. Bilmiyorum ne haldeyim gidiyorum gündüz gece gündüz gece Arabs freed Constantinople from the Roman Empire. See, this guy's trying to fucking Osama the Hun. This guy's trying to trigger uh, everyone, all the Turks. This is Arabs literally freed Constantinople. They're not Arabs, motherfucker. They're Turks. They came from the steppes. How long has it been since you've been there? Do you feel like you're behind the meta at all? Yes, dude. I am so behind the meta. Are you crazy? I don't know what the fuck's going on in Turkey, dude. I haven't been to Turkey in years. Yeah, it's been <clears throat> from everything I've seen though, things are not great in Turkey. This is a Turkish chick in Love Island apparently. What do you think, Coco? Huh? What do you think? Huh? Of what? Huh? <laughs> in general. You and Ekin. Yeah. Um 